So, Jenny, I have to say, you made me cry. I mean, <laughs> your film made <laughs> the film The Dog made me cry. Yeah. <laughs> don't cry uh, normally. So this was very heartwarming, and I'm a, the crazy dog lady anyway. So Aww. right up my sleeve, you know. My idea was it was your uh, debut as a director, you know. How many autobiographical parts were in there, and which were they? Um, you know, we, we, we really took a departure from the autobiographical, uh, stuff because, you know, I wasn't, I was never in the military. Um, I, I didn't, you know, it was my dog, Lulu, that, <clears throat> that, that got cancer and I, I went away and, and sort of had this last trip with her. Uh, but I would say the, 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 the closest thing that I, I would say that it was a real, um, it's just the theme of the movie is, you know, we, we, we decided on, um, because my, my story actually was sad, you know, my dog died. And we did, we kind of went away from that. And, but I, it, that came at a time that I was, you know, really, really needing my best friend in my life. And I had to like, you know, I had to lose her. I had to let her go. And, and there was nothing I could do about it. As much as I tried to hold on to her and I, and I held on to her for far too long. That's a big, a big regret that I have. Uh, you know, I kept her around and tried to try to get her healthy when she really didn't want to be here anymore. And, and I really just had to surrender to the fact that that was out of my hands. And, um, and I think that's probably the, the biggest step for Briggs in the movie is that he just has to really kind of, the whole movie is just to get to that very first step into like new, into a new direction where he doesn't know where he's going to go. He doesn't know what's going to happen and he has to just surrender to it. Absolutely, and also, you know, the dog heals him, and he heals the dog. So it's yeah. a healing together. You know, that's so what what really touched me. Did you have the feeling when you had hard times personally, Channing? Was Lulu there for you? Did you have the feeling she's good for you? She heals you in bad times. Yeah, I, mean, I think dogs. I mean, animals in general can do that as a whole. It's not just dogs, but I I find dogs that they're just so they don't have an ego they're so like they're just wherever you are they're gonna meet you right there you could be sad you could be angry you could be happy you could be just tired and not wanting to be there and, and like they're just gonna be right there with you and i think there's something incredibly healing about that um i've never really had a cat so i don't really know what that would be like i've had out, outdoor cats but you know so they're not like my pet exactly so but horses i, I do know kind of are, are very similar but different in, in a lot of in a lot of ways but um i don't know i think i think lulu in the movie our, our Lu, movie lulu is um is a bit of a mirror for briggs i think we 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 sort of um we played around, but even before we got to filming, uh, with the idea, I was like, could we take the dog out of this scene and still have the scene? Because he's sort of still, he's talking to this dog, and he's like, if you could just take the crazy down, just one notch, maybe we could have some fun. And what if he was actually just talking to himself, you know, in that yeah. moment? And like, could he be meaning everything that he's saying yeah. to him to himself? And I and I think. You know, the whole movie is to try to get him to take care of himself a little bit more and, and to, like, you know, really show up for himself and maybe in a, in a way that he's never done before. Absolutely. I saw that also, that it was a mirror. She was a mirror for him, you know. Yeah. And I think we need that all in our lives. And then I thought, um, you have this beautiful daughter. I saw that on Instagram. Um, was it important for you that she grows up with animals, with a dog? And I thought, could you have a, a partner who doesn't like animals? I couldn't imagine. No, I definitely, first off, could not have a partner that didn't like animals or especially dogs, I would say. Uh, but but uh, I talk about a mirror. I mean, you want to you wanna see it, you want to look into a mirror and have a child. I can, I can promise you that. That is, that'll be your clearest mirror or your hardest mirror to look at, you know, because they, they just are... One, they're their own person, but you just start to see yourself through the way that you're behaving. When they have a frustrating moment, uh, you know, you really get to kind of help them work through their, uh, I guess, hardships or, or emotional, you know, sort of turbulence and things in a way that I, I you know, I had someone told me, like, would you say, what would you say to your daughter with they were going through something like this? I was, I was going through like a bit of a, a hard time just even recently, just like stressed out. And, uh, and, 
And like, the person was like, well, what would you say to Evie? And I was like, well, I'd, be, I'd say this. And she's like, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Just do that. And I was like, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> like, life lesson, absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Channing. I have to stop. Last time, no, not last time, but we had so much fun in Cancun. Cancun, oh, yeah. I will always remember you. That was so oh, cool. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. I, w I will always remember Cancun in general. Those things were fun. I wish we could do them again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> nice Thank to see you. Enjoy your movie. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.